since I saw this iconic staircase with all the Dior miniatures, I really wanted to see Dior gallery with my own eyes. And it took me a while to book the ticket. It's not that hard, you just need to be a little bit in advance, about two weeks. But somehow between all the trips and being here and there, I just never got to it. And so today is finally the day we're going to explore the Dior gallery exposition and i figured why just stop there so next to your gallery we also picked the louis vuitton dream which is unlike dior is a free admission you just have to book in advance again and you can just be a couple of days in advance somehow it's not just as popular as dior yet and then the last one is if saint laurent foundation this been around for much longer than the other two and it's the old house where Saint Laurent used to create that was turned into a foundation in 2002. So we're gonna go check all three of them and then give you some tips and tricks and tell you which one is the best if you want to check them out in your next trip to Paris. So we came at Galerie Dior Gallery it's usually quite crowded and last time I came it was like one hour wait but today it seems to be much better so this is mostly walk through the exposition the first room was really cool. It was a lot of facts about Dior's history and how the fashion house came to be, about Dior himself and some iconic pieces in this big room. The next room was mostly exposing his gowns and it was called Enchanted Garden and had a lot of flower-themed pieces from different collections and it was really, really cool because he also had this birds chirping and other sound effects that made it even better. And then the sequence of different rooms with different gowns and different backgrounds. And one of my favorite parts was the office. They set it up as it used to be. And then next to it, you had a peek into the studio that is downstairs. And after you just had a series of rooms with different iconic pieces themed by different collections. And honestly, at some point I just lost count, but all of them are extremely interesting and you can just get lost exploring all of the beautiful gowns. Today it's a foundation that's been open on his historic address in the heart of Paris and this is sort of a very intimate exposition. They actually change them quite often. Today we caught the last day of the Shapes and Form exposition and it features his iconic pieces around geometry. You have three different rooms and then this is a grand entry room that used to be a salon where he welcomed all his clients and compared to Dior's exposition. This is much smaller, it feels more intimate, you still get to see his work and you actually even get to visit his studio and its stage the way it used to be. This location was transformed into a foundation that is dedicated to showcase his work and keep it lit through time. So if you're around, definitely come and check this place.
just tryna be myself It's a crazy world Looking to find my place And all they do is Here I am just tryna run the race In the slow pace All I'm tryna do is run Not win And all they do is Mira, Mira, tell me What is it about them? Living like it's their game Karma said it better than me You'll just end up losing We came to the LV Dream and it's featuring the iconic pieces of Louis Vuitton and it's also free admission, you just have to book your ticket in advance and just come explore. So let's go see what they have. Slim to pick the favorite. If you're into fashion, do all three. They're not very far away, and honestly, the entrance is really affordable, so why not? But if you just have time for one, I would probably go with Dior. It was the biggest in size and also had the biggest variety in rooms. And last but not least, it also had a cafe at the end, so it gives you a well rounded experience which goes beyond just the exposition. This is just my take. If you've seen any of these expositions, I would love to hear what you think. If there is any other ones that you love in Paris and would recommend, please don't hesitate to comment. And this is all for this episode and I'll see you in the next one.